sound of war is strange over the fields of America. This land was dedicated to peace. America is a place where men can plow and plant and grow and reap the harvest of their toil. America is a land for kids to grow up in, under a peaceful sky, with no cloud of fear, no ghost of hunger, where youngsters can learn for themselves what makes the world go round, how to set the table, and how to cook a meal. Reading, write, arithmetic. How to weave a rug for mother. How to mend a chair for dad. To turn metal on a lathe. To use a micrometer. This was the learning, the knowledge that built a wilderness of American hills and plains and rivers into a great nation. This boy did not want war. War had no place in his plans for America. The huge plants of the Ford Motor Company have been at work for many years building automobiles tractors to plow the fields, trucks to carry the eggs to town. Our aim was to build machines that would lift the burden of toil from the backs of men. Our job was to build a peaceful world, a world without war. And to carry on, to build a better world of tomorrow, the young ones must learn. And so, since 1916, Ford has trained youngsters in the skills of industry. The Henry Ford Trade School, the Ford Apprentice School, taught them geometry, trigonometry, mechanics. Taught them to use their hands and their minds. These boys are the citizens of the future. They will build the world of tomorrow. of modern industry, Ford has been a pioneer, the originator of mass production. Here was the giant enterprise that built automobiles on the assembly line, automobiles by the tens of millions. Here, machines were designed to help build machines, machines to make work easier, faster, better. Here, men worked no more than eight hours a day, five days a week. Here was the company that first paid its workers a minimum daily wage of five dollars. That was news, remember?
Yes, we at Ford made cars cheap enough for any man to buy. Shipped them to every corner of the globe. And in building these cars, we created wages to spend and leisure for living. That was the Ford idea. That was the Ford idea from the beginning when Henry Ford built his first horseless carriages. And over the years, the Ford idea started a pageant of progress. Ford's first car had bicycle wheels, a tiller to steer with, an open engine. Then the engine was covered to shield it from dust and dirt, and a top added to protect the passengers. The Model C was large enough for the whole family. The acetylene headlights were listed as optional equipment. Then the famous Model T, the first of 15 million. Incidentally, as optional equipment, we added a windshield. Then in 1915 came the sedan. A speedometer was added and headlights were electrified. Then came war. Back in shattered, the men and women of Ford went to war to fight for peace, created yet another assembly line, built eagle boats on it, passed armored ships to patrol and to fight the submarines. 